I'd like to speak to you today about um, some of the initiatives going on in Waterloo Region to help support the Ukrainians that may or may not come to our region. One thing I wondered as I um, thought about the Ukrainian crisis is why this crisis and why am I not getting involved with another one? Um, and I don't know why. Uh, something just spoke to me that I wanted to help. Um, something about I don't know so how I could relate to these people and thought, what if that was me? What would I do? What would I want people to do? So I started asking people, I said, you know, if you hear anything, let me know. I'm kind of interested in helping. Um, I had been involved when we brought the Elf Hoffmans over. I thought oh, it would be a similar kind of um, situation. Um, the government's going to bring these people over. They're going to support them. And um, people like Calgary will come and help, help them. Um, it is not the same program as the refugees that came from Syria. Um, people are coming over on a three-year visa uh, with no financial support and no health care support if they come to Ontario. So a group out of Wilmot got together and decided that they wanted to put together volunteers. They wanted to provide people a way to talk to other people and brainstorm ideas and just have some guidance and communication about what fundraising is going on and, and what do we need to support these people. By joining that group, what I've learned is housing, for instance, there is no MCC and reception house to help these people. They are just arriving in Canada and have to figure it out. Um, so what people have done, not just in Waterloo region, but I think around the world have said, we're going to open our doors. We're going to I've got a spare bed. I'm going to offer that to someone. If they come to Canada, they can come and stay in, in my home. One thing Brian and I have decided is that we are going to, um, or we have put our names forward to house people in our home on a temporary basis. To have someone living in our home um, is outside our comfort zone. It's not something we would normally step up and say, this is what we want to do, but we also realize these people coming here they need some support and, and I do recall one one thing I believe with the Hoffman family they were successful because Steph and Nathan opened their home to them and to me that really worked well what I would like to get is a, some people through Calvary to help support us whether it's transportation to appointments or learning English as a second language um, maybe providing meals occasionally um, or just providing social conversation with these people. Will they speak English? I don't know. <laughs> so will they have money? I don't know. So there's a lot of unknowns. Um, I think of Drew's comment about the chicken line and man we're jumping. <laughs> but I think it's the right thing to do and we're able to do it which is wonderful. We've committed to doing 25 elementary school um, backpack kits. We've got some samples of what's in the kit in the lobby if you want to take a look. There's also a list of the items that we're looking for and the cost. So for under $40 we can provide a child with a backpack when they arrive which is awesome. So any way people can help whether they want to do a full backpack kit or a part or make a financial donation and we'll do the shopping. We'd love the support from, from the congregation for that. So lots of opportunities for people depending on how involved you want to be, which is great.